Hey guys, Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina. I wanted to do a quick video about uh, the red grouper closure that's coming up. Next week sometime, the agency is going to be announcing that red grouper is going to close for the year. Obviously not a good situation, not something anybody wants, but you could look at it positively. There's actually a good good thing behind the closure. And the, re the reason I say that is the fact that red grouper are closing is because the average size of the red grouper has increased. The fishery is rebounding. It's becoming more healthy and we're seeing larger average size fish. So the interim analysis that occurs at the start of every year came out this January. It wasn't reviewed in January, unfortunately, because of the issues with Amendment 53. The council had to work through Amendment 53 before they could review the interim analysis. Well, the, stock, uh, the SSC, the council's SSC, or Science and Statistical Committee, finally was able to review that interim analysis prior to this most recent council meeting. And guess what it came out with? The SSC decided that the red grouper average size is actually larger than they thought. And because of the increase in average size for red grouper, it actually changed the way the quota works because as fish get bigger, you catch them uh, more quickly, the quota fills faster. So the fishery is healthy because we've got these larger fish and the fishery is healthy because we're catching them more quickly. So when you catch fish more quickly of larger size, your quota based in pounds fills more quickly. So then it triggers the ACL or annual catch limit uh, ACL closure. So yes, it sucks. Red grouper is probably going to close sometime around mid to late September or early October for the rest of 2021. But again, positive news is the fishery is rebounding. The fishery is healthy. And there's two things at the council level right now moving through. AM53 is going to go through rulemaking and become final. And they're in working to increase the catch levels in the overall AF, uh, OFL or overfishing limit, ABC, allowable biological catch, and then the ACL, annual catch limit. Uh, so all those things being increased means more quota, more fish to catch, and hopefully next year in 2022, the recreational fishery won't see a closure. Maybe we get the full 12 months. If we don't, it'll be closer to 10 and a half, 11, maybe 11 and a half months. So in the short run, 2021, it stinks red groupers closing. I'm upset too, but look at it positive. Try to look at the, the brighter side of things. The fishery is healthy. The fishery is rebounding. We're getting bigger average fish. We're catching them more quickly. Now that the season's going to close at the end of this year, hopefully we leave a bunch of fish in the water and the fishery will be even healthier next year. So look at the positive side of things. Obviously it stinks red grouper is going to close, but it's really, really good to hear that the fishery is doing so well. We're able to catch them so fast that our, we're filling up our ACL quicker than anticipated. So hopefully next year we'll have a nice long season of super healthy fish and we'll all do really well out there. Don't forget your venting tool or descending device when you go out there fishing for these red grouper, especially once the season closes. Those small red grouper are really susceptible to barotrauma. So you want to make sure you have a venting device or a venting tool or descending device to make sure any red grouper that you catch and have to be discarded. It's called a regulatory discard because the regulations make you discard it because the fishery is closed. You want to make sure that fish survives to the next year so you can catch it when it's legal to keep them and take them home and throw them in your fish box. So make sure you get the fish up quickly, get them off the hook quickly with a good pair of de-hooking tools, then get them back in the water quickly after you vent them or hook them up to your descending device and send them back down quickly. That way we can lower discard mortality and again, increase the rate that the fishery is gonna get healthier and stronger. We're gonna see a larger overall fish and management will catch up to the science that is sped up. Science is speeding up. These interim analysis that the council ordered, they're gonna happen every year for red grouper. So they're gonna keep a health check or a pulse on the fishery and the biomass of red grouper. And then the council is gonna be able to take that information and adjust management. So as the fishery rebounds and gets healthier, they can do things like increase the catch level to try to prevent closures. So yes, it stinks red groupers closing in 2021. 
2022, whole new year, hopefully a longer 12 month season and beyond. We're gonna keep getting those health checks and keep working towards increasing this fishery, rebuilding the fishery and having a healthy, sustainable, accountable and hopefully a full OY or optimum yield. And the CFIRE program is gonna help with that because it's gonna help give more indices of abundance. But first, you've gotta reach full compliance and you've gotta calibrate your data. Let me say that again for the people in the back, you gotta calibrate your data. See, charter boats and party boats in the CFIRE program, we all know we have to wait for our data to be calibrated. Maybe the states could take a, a look at that for their red snapper data instead of sucking up all the bandwidth at council meetings, making illegal motions and having the agency send back an amendment that you've worked on and take up more of the council's time talking about state data calibrations. Come on guys, calibrate the state data. Let's move past it. Great red snapper counts coming. You can't continue to overfish in hopes that your overfishing is validated by a new uh, stock abundance study in the form of the great red snapper count. But that's a whole nother video tomorrow maybe. See you guys, don't forget, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy.